Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. Hope you're having a great morning. Hope everything's going well. Sorry for the darkness. Um, 2 Corinthians 1 through 4 is our verse today. And uh, it says, Praise be to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, the God of com all comfort, who comfort us in all tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we are comforted by God. Now this is interesting today that it's Monday and Monday is never usually a great day but basically when you encompass this passage of scripture when you look at this passage it says um, we are comforted by our Father so we should be able to comfort those who are also in need that, that goes uh has problems um, who go through any trouble we should comfort those because we have been comforted by our father so what's the big problem uh, I mean we have people all around us instead of being onlookers we should be participants and those who are going through problems well that's not my problem no the Lord would not let you just stand there and not be comforted engage support um, comfort there is, in scripture it talks about comfort those who need comfort and weep with those who weep mourn with those who need to warm mourn with it's in there the very fact is um, it's scripture so the very what's the deal um, and uh, we as Christians should have a lot of compassion because the, that is something that we should be able to do. Um, sometimes we are bystanders instead of participants. It's not my business to be a part of. I remember one time uh, Karen and I were on a walk and there was this, it seemed like a fight and uh, between a parent and a child and we just says, is there anything we can do? And they says, it's none of your business. Well, yeah, we says, well, it seemed like it's getting pretty bad and it's still none of your business. Well, if it, it became our business, then uh, I was in California and there, there's this couple yelling at each other and we called the cops because it looked like it was getting heated. Sometimes it may not be our business, but it becomes our business when we see something happening. Where does that happen with comforting? Comforting also comes along with uh, engaging. But also when there's someone I've also found out that when there's someone that comes up and just starts weeping on your shoulder let them weep. Well, I don't want to get my clothes dirty. Well, let them weep. Comfort those whenever you can. There's no we always get worried about our personal space. Well What, don't worry about your personal space. God comforts you every day. Comfort those around you. It's it's really something that we can do. That is something that costs you nothing. Um, today is Monday, and someone may have had a bad weekend. And try to encourage and comfort at the same time. So, all right, our verse is Second Corinthians one three through four. It's a pretty deep verse, so I'm not going to get into uh, a whole lot, but I just wanted to dive into that word comfort. Maybe you need comfort today, and I pray that God will be the comforter for you today. Can't walk up and give you a hug, but you know, hug from the internet. <sighs> okay, but uh, 2 Corinthians 1 through First uh, Second Corinthians 1, 3 verses 3 and 4 says, Praise be to God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion, and the Father of all comfort who comforts us in uh, all tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we are comforted by God. Um, write that in your notebook. Remember, this is a Bible study. So here's my notebook. Put an O, observe it. A, apply it to your life. P, pray. And we're going to do that. Remember, if you have a, a prayer request, message me if you're on Facebook. 
you're watching this on YouTube or on our, face, uh, our, our webpage, email me at b1agks at gmail.com. Let me pray for you today. Lord, I thank you so much for those who are watching now. I pray that you encourage them. Lord, help us to show more compassion today, this week, Lord. Bless those, Lord, in your name. Amen. Hey, God bless you guys. I love you. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Have an awesome, awesome day. Bless you guys. Love you.